Hello guys. Today we will enter chapter five. Thermal chemistry. Thermal means energy changes. Energy changes. Energy changes in chemical reaction. Chemical reactions. So in a chemical reactions, the energy can be released. The energy is released to the surrounding. Is released to the surrounding. Or the energy can be absorbed from the surrounding. Energy is absorbed from the surrounding. From surrounding. So in a chemical reaction, the energy can be released to the surrounding or can be absorbed from the surrounding. So in this chapter, we will learn about this thermal chemistry. Before we go to more detail about thermal chemistry, we need to understand some terms that we will use in this chapter. Example, reactants. So what is reactants? So reactants are substances. Substances that start a chemical reaction. Example, photosynthesis. So in order to start the photosynthesis process, in order to start this process, we need carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide, we need water, we need sunlight. So these are the substances. These are the substances. These are the substances we call it as reactants to start a chemical reaction. So carbon dioxide, water, and sunlight are reactants. And what does mean product? Products are substances that are produced in the reactions. So for photosynthesis process, what are the products of photosynthesis process? Example, you will produce glucose, oxygen gas. So glucose and oxygen gas are products of photosynthesis. So these are products of the reaction, of the chemical reaction. Chemical reaction can be divided into two types based on the heat change in the reaction. Two types. Number one, exothermic reaction and endothermic reaction. Endothermic reaction. Thermic means heat. Endo means enter. Heat is enter. Heat is absorbed. So endothermic reactions mean the reactions. The heat is absorbed from the surrounding. Number one, heat is absorbed. Heat is absorbed from the surrounding. So if the heat is absorbed from the surrounding, temperature, I use the short form, temperature. The temperature of surrounding, temperature of surrounding decreases. So the temperature of surrounding decreases. Number three, the reading. How about the reading of thermometer? The reading of thermometer decreases. The reading of thermometer decreases. So example, these reactions, ammonium chloride salt, dissolve in the water. Then you will feel cold. You will feel, when you touch the cup, you will feel cold. Because this is endothermic reaction. Heat is absorbed from the surrounding and the temperature of the surrounding decreases and the reading of the thermometer decreases so you feel cold endothermic reaction example this is ice this is water and this is gas in order for ice to melt to become water heat is absorbed from the surrounding heat is absorbed heat is entered thermal mean heat and endo mean enter so heat is entered from the surrounding and then the ice melt to become water so melting is an example of endothermic reaction water become gas heat is absorbed from the surrounding heat is absorbed from the surrounding and then the water can become the gas by evaporation boiling or by boiling so melting, evaporation, boiling are example of endothermic reactions. During endothermic reactions, heat energy is absorbed to break the bond. So break the bond, the bonds, the bonding. So break bonds.
energy level diagram for endothermic reaction. So the y axis is the energy. Kilojoule. So example, this is the reactant. Reactant substance that start a chemical reaction. So example, this is 50 kilojoule. 50 kilojoule. So energy is absorbed from the surrounding. Then the energy increases. And the products will have more energy. The products will have more energy than the reactant. So the product may be is 100 kilojoule. So there are more, more energy. Product has more energy. So these are the change in the energy, delta H. So you will get positive value here. Positive value for endothermic reactions gain energy from the surrounding. Next, exothermic reaction. Thermic mean heat. Exo mean exit. The heat is exit to the surrounding. Heat is released to the surrounding. Released to the surrounding. Number one, exothermic reaction is heat is released to the surrounding. So number two, the temperature, the temperature, so on for temperature, the temperature of surrounding increases because the heat is released to the surrounding. Number three, the reading of the thermometer. Reading of the thermometer, the thermometer increases. Thermometer increases. So when the sodium hydroxide dissolves in the water, when you touch the polystyrene cup, you will feel hot. Why? Because in this reaction, heat is released to the surrounding. Example of exothermic reaction, heat is exit, heat is released to the surrounding. So example, this is gas, water, the liquid, and this is ice. So in order for the gas condensed to become water, by condensation, the gas release, release heat. Heat is released to the surrounding. When heat is released to the surrounding, heat is released to the surrounding from bond, from bonds. So they are from bonds to become gas, become the liquid. So water become ice, the heat is released to the surrounding. Heat is released to the surrounding. So water become ice is freezing. So freezing is example of exothermic reactions. Gas become water. Gas become water is condensation. Condensation is example of exothermic reactions from bonds. Heat is released then from bond. Energy level diagram for exothermic reaction. Heat is released to the surrounding. Energy level diagram. The x axis is energy. Kilojoule. So this is the reactants substance that start a reaction. Heat is released to the surrounding. So the heat is released to the surrounding. So the product has the product have less energy. The product have less energy than the reactants. So these are the changes of energy represented by delta H. You will get negative value. Example, this is 100 kilojoule, and this one is 50 kilojoule. So the changes is negative 50. The difference is 50 kilojoule energy. Now we look at some examples of exothermic and endothermic reactions in daily life. Number one, fireworks displays. Heat is released to the surrounding. So, fireworks displays is an example of exothermic reaction. Exo photosynthesis. The green plant absorb the heat, absorb the heat from the surrounding. 
So, photosynthesis is an example of endothermic reaction. Next, cake baking. So, you bake the cake. Heat is absorbed from the surrounding. Heat is absorbed from the surrounding. This is endothermic reactions. Respiration. Respiration. Heat is released. Oxidize the glucose. Oxidize the glucose. Release the energy to the cell. So, respiration is exothermic reaction. Heat is released to the body cell. Endothermic reactions. Thermic means heat. Endo means enter. The heat is absorbed from the surrounding. So, for endothermic reactions, number one, heat is absorbed from the surrounding. Number two, the temperature of the surrounding decreases because the heat is absorbed from the surrounding, so the surrounding temperature decreases. Number three, example of endothermic reactions are photosynthesis. Heat is absorbed by the green plants to make food. Cake baking process, dissolving ammonium salt in water. The energy level diagram. So the energy level diagram for endothermic reactions, the y as it is energy. Okay, kilojoule. Reactants absorb the energy from the surrounding. So the product, the product have higher energy, have higher energy than the reactants. So product have higher energy. than the reactants. Exothermic re reactions. Thermic means heat. Exo means the heat is exit. The heat is released. So for exothermic reaction, number one, heat is released to the surrounding. So if the heat is released to the surrounding, the temperature of the surrounding increases. Example, burning of the paper, bulk explosion, heat is released to the surrounding. Respirations. Glucose is oxidized and then release the energy to the body cell. Number four, neutralization between acid and alkali. These are all examples of exothermic reactions. The energy diagram is like this. So, the y is it is energy, kilojoule, and this is the reactants. So, the reactants release the energy to the surrounding, decrease. And the product, the product have less energy. The product have less energy. Have less energy than the reactant. That's all for this chapter. Thank you for watching my video.